short video today uh, to give you a few uh, ideas and examples on freezer vehicles. Uh, with freezer vehicles there's quite a few different requirements you can have depending on the temperature you require. And obviously you can go from a minus 5 freezer down to a minus 20. Uh, obviously a minus 20 freezer is going to need a lot more equipment on it to maintain that temperature, especially in the summer months. Um, this vehicle here is so just an example vehicle really, um, but obviously you've got a bit of equipment on there. Um, so this is a deep freezer vehicle. Uh, obviously it's got the larger GOH um, Super Rapier freezer unit on there. Uh, this customer also needed side door access, um, so we had to go for the side slab door. Obviously they're designed to be able to take the pallets through them, um, so you can still gain access and obviously load a pallet in there if you require. Um, obviously if you don't need um, slab side door access, another option is we can just shut the side door off completely, um, so obviously you won't have any temperature loss from there. Uh, obviously moving down the vehicle. Um, the other um, obviously you think you would need to get down to low temperatures, especially sort of minus 18 and minus 20 temperatures, is going to be the rear doors. Um, and obviously you need something like the freezer modular pods. As you see here, so there's a much thicker uh, insulation, obviously that's put onto the inside of the original doors. Uh, again, if you wanted the slab door, you could have that. Most people generally go for this type of, uh, this type of conversion. Um, let's say with this specification, with the larger freezer unit, let's say you'll be reaching temperatures of minus 18, minus 20. Um, the other thing you generally need, which is for helping you when you load the vehicle, because obviously you have to get the vehicle down to obviously the optimum temperature before you load your goods, obviously the electric standby. Obviously this is obviously where you can plug the vehicle in to single or three phase mains, depending on what your unit or house may have. Um, and then that will work the, uh, the refrigeration unit um, off the electric from when the vehicle's parked up without the engine running. Obviously when you're all loaded up, unplug, drive, off you go.